first day of a new month so we are going into the day with good intentions ready for a new month this month is going to be great speak it into existence and this video is going to be just a girl in her 20s figuring life out episode two if you don't know i started this series to basically just let the girlies know it's someone out here just like you it's someone out here in the same situation as you just a little backstory if you're new here i'm 21 years old i still live at home I just got enrolled back in college after taking a year and a half gap year because I didn't know what I wanted to do with myself. I still don't. I'm in college as far as something I'm interested in, but is that going to be my career? Probably not. I'm just confused with life. I feel like we all are, and I feel like it's not normalized because we see all these, you know, people our age doing all these big things, which kudos to them, but everybody's reality is different and i just want to start this series just to show my reality i wanted to do this video this week because i do have some new things going on in my life i am starting a new job today i am working as a optometrist assistant i haven't done anything like this before for real for real but i am excited to start a new job i've been unemployed since end of september was when i quit my last job and ever since then i've been unemployed i've been looking for a job just because i'm bored like i don't know how people do it being a full-time content creator is a blessing i promise I'm grateful for everything I have it is a blessing it makes great money but it's boring if you're not going out spending money every day traveling uh, two times a month like it's just not my vibe and of course I could have started a business I could have did this I could do that but that's just not my interest I feel like a lot of people tried to force that on me like oh well if you're bored just start a business but mm, everybody's not meant to be an entrepreneur so the pushing entrepreneurship onto everybody let's stop that in 2024 let's stop it because not everybody wants to be an entrepreneur ever since i was old enough to work i have worked a job i started at a restaurant i worked at a warehouse like i've i've just been a working girl and i don't mind going to get that bag like i've never been ashamed to say yeah i work a regular ass job um even when i wasn't doing content so today is my first day of work which i'm excited for because i've been just wanting to get out the house and just do more different things you know what i'm saying work in a different field this whole week it's just gonna be a weekly vlog but y'all are gonna be you know adjusting to my new schedule with me figuring out how we're gonna do all this and that and then on top of all this i work a part-time job now i'm a part-time college student full-time next semester extremely full-time six classes i'm a full-time content creator and i'm also trying to balance 75 self while doing all this so y'all are gonna come along with me this week and yeah i just did my oral hygiene skincare and stuff i didn't show y'all because i feel like i show y'all every single video and it's, it's tired so i'm about to go ahead and head in the kitchen make some breakfast i'm gonna see y'all when i'm dressed and ready to go Hey guys, before we hop into today's video, I just want to give a quick thank you to Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. If you're not familiar with Scentbird, what's really going on? But I'm going to go ahead and put you guys on. Scentbird is a fragrance company that carries brands like Prada, Gucci, Versace fragrances. Scentbird lets you choose a new designer perfume every month for $17. And it's completely your choice of what scent you want to try. I know designer perfumes can be very, very expensive. I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys the three perfumes that I chose out this month for myself. They come packaged in these little gray dust bags, which just gives it like a little umph. You know what I mean? So when you pop open your dust bag, this is what the perfume looks like. It does have a little vial, a little case that goes over it, and they're all so cute. Orange color, this pink color, and this blue color, but the vials also do open because at first I was a little confused. I'm like, okay, but how do I know which is which? Yeah, literally pop it open and it tells you right there exactly what the name of the perfume is. I'm gonna share with you guys the three perfumes I picked out this month. First one is Marc Jacobs Daisy So Fresh. I have been hearing about this a lot, which is why I picked it out. I haven't gotten around to going to Ulta or Sephora so I can go smell it in person. And we're gonna spray her together because I'm curious. It smells really, really good, but I can't put my finger on exactly what it smells like. Thankfully, they did send over the cards that show the scent notes, the ingredients, and all that good stuff, so I can literally tell you guys exactly what the scent notes are. The scent notes are red raspberry, wild rose, and warm plum. Yeah, I'm getting like a raspberry vibe. That actually smells really good. 
Next up, we have this pink case, the Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods. I love a good vanilla scent, which is exactly why I picked this out. I think vanilla is like I go to fragrance, like anything vanilla, I'm most likely gonna like it. Oh my god, hold on. Y'all, that smells really good. I think I'm gonna have to purchase the full size of this. The last one they sent me is in this orange case. Let's see, Ariana Grande Ari. I do have a few Ariana Grande perfumes, but not this one. This one is very strong. It's giving grown woman, it's giving date night. Like Ari by Ariana Grande is a luscious and sexy fragrance. It opens with sparkling fruits and an ultra feminine, passionately spun with musks, woods and an addictive hint of marshmallow. Prior to this, I have used Scentbird before and I keep these literally in my purse just in case one day I forget to spray perfume or I'm going out and I just wanna add a little umph. That's why I always keep these in my purse. They're the perfect size. And if you wanna just try designer perfume without spending designer money, this is your best bet. If you wanna go ahead and check out Scentbird, I do have a discount code for you guys, which will definitely come in clutch. Instead of that $17 a month, I got you guys for a little bit around $8. Use my code KAYA55 for 55% off your first Scentbird order. Thank you Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. Let's go ahead and get back to the vlog. All right, y'all, ignore the light and the way I have this mirror angled now, the lighting is like really bad. But I just got dressed. I am ready for my first day of work. This energy drink, I thought I picked up the mimosa flavor. I did, but then I also picked up this one, which I've never had before, but it's actually pretty decent. It's like a, hold on, let's see. Like a cool seven out of 10, but I just have all my essentials crew neck because um, she told me just wear a regular shirt. We don't wear scrub tops. So she's gonna provide me with like company shirts and sweaters today for my first day. So she said, just wear a regular shirt. I got on my essential screw neck because this is like the plainest, most comfortable thing I could find. My scrub pants, which I ended up keeping from my old job, which I'm glad I did because I didn't have to go buy nothing for this new job. And then for my shoes, I just have on these Vapormax I bought like five years ago, literally y'all. Uh, and I just never wore them. That's why they look so clean. But yeah, this is the outfit. I am about to go ahead and head to the car and head to work at a 20 minute commute not too bad my last job was 30 so i appreciate the 10 minutes <laughs> i will meet y'all in the car what do you say huh bitch i'm the biggest and don't forget the realest real money get nigga all right y'all the playlist is about to be jumping okay i need to get the pulling off now just so i can be a little bit early on my first day like 10 minutes it's 8 15 so i'll be there by like 8 35 ish I don't even know, remember what the place is <laughs> Let me get on ND. I don't even remember what the place is called, y'all. Hold on. How do I find it, y'all? Oh, right here. Wish me luck. I don't know if y'all can hear this. I pull up and it starts pouring. And I don't have an umbrella. I don't have nothing. And this place don't even open till nine, so I hope she opened the door because I'm gonna need to get in. I'm back, it is after work. I just came back from the store real quick to pick up some snacks. I just picked up a couple things because I'm gonna be working like these shorter shifts. I realized I'm gonna need me a snack. That oatmeal with the fruit this morning won't well, nothing. And then I also have some full shifts. So for my full shifts, I'll pack whole lunch. First thing I got was these blueberry muffin bars thingies. And then I got these, these, I used to bust these down, but the, it wasn't the peanut ones, it was something else, I can't remember. But these, fire, that's what I'm eating right now. The little rice cake chip thingies. A recap on my first day. Y'all, it was pretty good. It's definitely different for me because it's a family owned clinic. Meaning it's only one doctor and like three other really, people. It's such a smaller setting and it's so chill. And like, I was kind of shocked with the stuff she was telling me because I'm so used to like strict, like strict policies. You have to follow these. If you don't follow these, you're fired. Like I'm used to like strict. So when she was talking to me, I'm like, damn, like this it. <laughs> It doesn't seem like a bad job. It seems like a good fit for me, so we shall see. I don't want to speak too soon, because y'all know. Today, I have to I have to finish this video, because I have to send in for promo today. So I'm about to go ahead and pull my computer out and get straight to work. I'll probably be working on it all night, and then when I finish, I got to eat dinner, go to the gym, come back, shower, read my book, and, you know, do all the things that I'm doing for 7 Fast Off. So that's the rundown. I'm literally about to get straight to work, because I'm not trying to be up all night working on this video. And then I'll come talk to y'all probably once I finish or when I'm eating dinner or something like that. All right, y'all, I'm in the gym. I got here like 25 minutes ago. I've been on the treadmill ever since. I've been trying to get in the habit of running on the treadmill because I heard that's like a better way to, you know, lose like face fat, body fat. And yeah, 
why would I want to do that? This whole time I've been editing that video, it is 9.34 at night and I'm just now getting in the gym for the day. Cause I, as soon as I got off work, I ate and I edited that video. Just for it to get copyrighted. Just for it to get copyrighted. Do y'all see this? That kind of blew me, but whatever. But I have been productive as hell today. I went to work. I came home, did my content work. I haven't even looked at my schoolwork for the week yet. Baby, this new schedule is gonna take some adjusting. I'm sitting here mentally thinking in my head, should I do core or a full body workout? Because I have the energy to do a full body workout and then do core tomorrow. I'm gonna do a morning workout tomorrow because I work tomorrow from one to six in the afternoon. So all morning I have like a full day. And my camera is on like one battery, so I'll vlog as much as I can. But once the battery dies, I won't be filming this. Don't got no one that back calling me splurge. Drop me jump right out of the curb. Make yeah. this man fly like a bird. Spin on the first and the third. Yeah. Solid, don't keep my word. Can't be my equal, I don't know what you heard. Yeah. Crack up the phone, I swear. Keep me a stick of they purse. Yeah. 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 In this bitch like a purr yeah. Smack on the back of a purr yeah. Ice, the bird uh, You know all you little turds Can't take that bitch you turn In my own land we can't merge yeah. So morning y'all uh, It is the next day It's like 7 something in the morning And I was not anticipating Yeah And I was not anticipating on waking up this early But you could see who woke me up You could see who woke me up I'm trying to get her to go back to sleep, but she's not having it. We're trying to do this whole crate training thing, but she is not having that neither. And I'm just tired. I, I The screaming and the whining this morning, I could not take it. I could not take it. So I put her in the bed. I brought her bed in here. And she's literally just biting me. I'm so tired. <sighs> and she's crying because she want to run around and play. But baby, it's too early right now. It's 7 a.m. I'm stressed. Say help, please. <laughs> this dog is so fucking bad. I mean, she's cute and all, but don't let the cuteness fool you, Lord. This is a family puppy, so it's not even really my puppy. But I be the main one home, so of course I'm gonna be the one spending the most time with her other than on the weekends. This mainly falls on me, and I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sitting here on Google, how to crate train a dog, how to get my dog to stop whining in the cage. And they just said let it keep going, but I couldn't, not this morning. Maybe, maybe later. I'll try again later, but this morning I was getting irritated with this screaming. Like, the amount of noise this little tiny dog can make is insane. I'm about to eat breakfast and go to the gym. And I want to get a low-calorie Dunkin' drink today, so I'm going to bring y'all along with me too. But I'm about to just sit in this bed and hope this dog go back to sleep. Then the next couple minutes, because I just, I just need to rest for a couple more minutes. What are you doing? Crying. I just got to Dunkin'. Yes, my shirt is backwards because I'm wearing the shirt they gave me for work and the front has my job's name on it. So I flipped it around and I'm gonna flip it back before I go into work. Yeah, but I just left Dunkin'. I got a sugar-free drink. Well, not, I don't think it's completely sugar-free, but um gabby put me on to this drink gabby tried the other day and she said it was pretty good this is my first time in, at duncan in like weeks maybe even like a whole month so it's a medium iced latte with almond milk two shots of hazelnut two shots of toasted almond and two splenda so the hazelnut and the toasted almond are unsweetened flavors so that's what makes it like a little bit better than the regular coffee like the color is still looking pretty decent i don't know y'all ready for this Something is really throwing me off. It might be the almond milk. I don't know, y'all. I'm going to drink it because we don't waste money around here. But something tastes like... Hold on. I got to get a picture for my thumbnail. Something tastes like... Let me see. Let me take another sip. See if I can get that. I can't even describe what it tastes like. I think it's that toasted almond because I had the hazelnut before. I've had... I think I've had the almond milk before. But I think it might be that toasted almond. 
I'm about to go ahead and head to work. Today is day two of my new job. I don't want to jinx it, but y'all, I think I'm gonna like this job for real. Like, I really wanted to have like a productive morning this morning, but I wanted to, you know, wake up, eat breakfast, go get a workout, come back, shower, do my skincare, go get a coffee, come back, chill. But none of that went as planned because it is puppy. But I think we're getting a little bit better. I think today we made progress. I'm about to go ahead and head to work, so I'll check in after, let y'all know how my day went. Come back, we got a workout. Um, eat dinner, read my book, 75 soft tings. So yeah, see y'all after work. Maybe Netflix talking about some, the payment ain't go through. I don't know if y'all be knowing, but when the payment, first of all, I don't pay my Netflix. So, cause if I did, it would've been paid. No tea, no shade for real, for real. But like, <laughs> y'all know you could still watch Netflix if your payment don't go through. It work every single time. But I guess eventually somebody pay it, but maybe I don't even know who Netflix I'm on at this point. I'm on somebody Netflix and if you're watching this, pay your bill, please. <laughs> Cause I gotta watch my show. I just went ahead and microwaved my food. So I got hibachi. My family went to hibachi and they brought me some back cause I was at work. It was huge. That to-go plate was absolutely huge. So I split it in half. I mean, this part tonight for dinner and then the other half for lunch tomorrow. They just got me some steak with shrimp and I got the vegetables and rice and a yum yum sauce I'm gonna throw on top. And I got my show playing in the back. That is my girl Chris. Y'all, when I tell you this show is so good, 10 out of 10. If you not hip to swat, please get hip. Yo, know, like this show is fire. Oh my God. I'm about to eat. I got a flash on because it's dark in my room. I'm about to like literally relax for the rest of the night because I feel like I need it. If my body tell me to do something, I'm going to do exactly that. Okay? Good night. I'm clocked out. I will see y'all tomorrow. Ooh. Hey, y'all. Uh, I look so bad. What the f***? I look a little rough. Just ignore that. It is Thursday. I don't know if I'm putting the footage in from yesterday because yesterday was so hectic y'all like i started filming yesterday but then the dog the puppy she was just giving me so many issues and she kind of just like ruined my whole entire mood but today we're not gonna let that happen she pooped on the floor so i put her in the cage it's like a little discipline like no don't poop on the floor in the cage you go i go check on her like 10 minutes later she pooped again in the cage and she walked all in it so i had to give her a bath and then a couple hours later, I let her run. We took a nap. We took a nap. A couple hours later, I let her run around. She pooped again. And she turns around to sniff it. And she opens her mouth to go eat it. I scream no so loud. She runs right through it. So if you're wondering how my day went yesterday, that's exactly how it went. Yeah, not so fun. Did I even mention to y'all this is not my dog? I mean, I guess it's like a family dog, but it seems like yeah but on the agenda today i have a lot of school work to get done it is thursday i work tomorrow i work a full shift this is gonna be my first full shift i work like i don't know i don't really have a set schedule but i do work three days a week this week was kind of weird since it was my first week but my next couple weeks is two full shifts in one little mini shift like a five hour shift so tomorrow i work from 8 45 to 6 i can't remember let me see so i'm gonna get everything done i need to get done today right now i'm just about to go run and get hold on let me see what time i work first let's take it one by one i'm about to get a nutritional tea i don't know if you ever heard of those but like i didn't know they were a thing i didn't know they had place near me like they sell nutritional shakes nutritional teas with energy in them like i mean caffeine in them if you want caffeine all type of stuff so i'm gonna go check that out and see what it's giving since y'all know i'm on my healthy kick okay I got my drink. I'm gonna read to y'all what I got because I don't even remember. It has collagen and hydration, peach, pineapple, and rainbow. So this is what it looks like. Yeah, read. I'm excited to try it. It's huge. Ooh, I got the tank to it. It is good, but it definitely got a tank to it. Orange, was there orange in there? Did I read off orange? Peach, pineapple, and rainbow. So I'm about to head back to the house. I'm gonna just sip on this. It's supposed to give you like a little energy boost, which is what I need, so we'll see. Yeah, I'm gonna bring y'all back to the house with me because I don't know. I need to eat something, but there's nothing to eat. I need to go grocery shopping. I need to do this, that, this. So I'll meet y'all back at the house. Currently in the car. Last I spoke to y'all, let me cut the air down. Last I spoke to y'all, we were getting that nutrition drink from the little tea thing tea place thingy and i didn't even drink that for real y'all i don't know it was just a little too sweet for me um so now i'm about to head to duncan it's like 3 30 it's 
very much later in the day i feel like having this dog is like a full-time job like i can't just leave her like i told y'all we're working on potty training and crate training at the same time which seems like a little much so i don't know i'm just trying to figure it all out i'm not the mama of this dog but during the weekdays when i'm not working technically i am so i have to put in some effort and try to so that's what most of my day has consisted of um i haven't really done any schoolwork so that's what i'm about to go do i'm about to go to duncan get a coffee and then do my schoolwork at the library because the library is open till eight o'clock and i think duncan's only open to like six and i was watching Alyssa howard's video and she was she did like a vlog about like how she stays productive being like a full-time content creator because so i went to go watch it because i was intrigued and she does like these i don't know what she, i forgot what she called them but like basically she works for two hours takes a little break works for two hours like you know on days she has to get work done and stuff which is actually really smart so that's what i'm about to do at the library two hours of work like put my phone on dnd i even made like a work break setting like y'all know how you can put dnd and change the settings i even made a work break setting because i am dedicated to getting the school work done because i do have work tomorrow so i just want to have the weekend to myself yeah i will meet y'all at Duncan. I don't know what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get something sugar free, of course, but I just don't know. Maybe just vanilla and caramel, because really, what I had the other day was gross. So, yeah. Enough of me yip yapping. I'll meet y'all at Duncan and shout out my drink and try it with y'all. And then we'll head to the library for a productive afternoon. They stopped putting stickers on it. Like last time I got Duncan, did y'all realize I didn't have no sticker? And now today, I don't have no sticker. Is that just like. A my Duncan thing or did they just stop using stickers? I got a small iced latte with sugar-free vanilla and sugar-free hazelnut. All right, cheers. Taste says You gotta shake the cup up, that's mandatory. If you don't shake the cup like this, it's not gonna taste right. Okay, give me one second. I'm about to run in there and get two Splendors to add to this drink. It, ugh! Okay, I'm back. I just ran in there and asked for two Splenda. I did put it in the drink while I was in there. And she was like, you know, it just takes some extra. So she gave me two more. But I did do a little taste and it's actually better with the Splenda. Two is fine because I feel like three would make it too much. So yeah, this is pretty good. The only thing, like when I was going to Dunkin', when I wasn't doing my whole fitness 75 soft journey, I was getting liquid sugar because I hate the sugar at the bottom when they just do regular sugar. And Splenda doesn't come liquid. So I have to lift the straw up a little bit to drink it oh, i just love this productive era i mean even though it hasn't been that productive because of this damn dog i mean that is still productive to me the dog has been holding me accountable and having me ripping and running something weird about me is i thrive off productivity which is why i feel like i need a job i feel like i need structure in my life being a full-time content creator just didn't give me the structure i was really looking for um picking up this job having a new dog a new puppy going back to school because i actually just went to school in january so i haven't been in school that long i'm balancing full-time content creation and this this makes me happy. Like just always being up on my toes, always learning something new, having new stuff to do, being able to put out new content, going to work, coming home, feeling like I've had a good productive day. I don't know, that's just me, which is very like weird, some will say. But let me take my seatbelt off because I actually had something I wanted to chit chat with y'all about real quick. A lot of people have been asking me like, how do you be so consistent on social media? But then I also see the topic going around of, oh, you know, being repetitive, this, this, and that. And I just want to put y'all on game on how I'm so consistent and how I will continue to be consistent because this consistency isn't going nowhere. Of course, school and work will be priority first and then YouTube, but that's not going to change how productive I am. Like I am, I'm telling y'all, productivity, consistency, it's on a thousand somebody had dm me another creator and she was like she just wanted to ask me like how am i so consistent and this was before i had started working again like being like a college student because she's in college too and i did want to say i let her know like first of all like i'm an online college student i know a lot of people have to get up and go to class and go to like three classes a day i don't do nothing that my work is kind of like self-paced not really but kind of like it's all due on saturday or sunday so i have the whole week to do work if i just dedicate one day to school work then I'll be done for the week and I know that's not realistic for like in-person college students and stuff but that's just how I do it and that's why it's a little bit easier for me to be consistent but now with this job I feel like when I was working a nine to five I didn't have time for creativity a lot of content creators have time for creativity they can come up with all these out-the-box ideas they can go travel they can go out on a random Tuesday and do this and do that and they have the means to be creative and I'm not saying like other people don't but like the more busy 
people are people who go to school people who have kids people who um work full-time jobs we don't have all the time in the world to be creative with the vlogs so what i was telling her is just make your content Dr. the dough somebody's walking up nope okay Girl. When you have a lot going on, make your content revolve around whatever you have going on. Like, I'm a lifestyle creator, so I say this all the time. My content just revolves around what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. If I'm going to Vegas next week, I'm going to vlog that. If I'm, you know, drowning in schoolwork, we're just going to do a college vlog. If I'm busy with work, we're going to do a work vlog. If I'm just trying to figure, the, figure life the hell out, we're going to do a vlog called Figuring Life the Hell Out. I feel like that's what lifestyle is. If you call yourself a lifestyle creator... It's life. Life is repetitive. Life is busy. Life is not always easy. And sometimes we don't have time to be creative. So just make the content based on what you're doing. If you have a busy week at university, busy week at uni, there go your vlog for the week. I just wanted to put that out there because a lot of y'all be asking how I stay so consistent and stuff like that. And honestly, that's it. I just, you know, vlog my life and it worked. And y'all eat it up and I like making it. So, I mean... It's a win-win situation. But I'm actually gonna head out now. Sorry, y'all. Meet you at the library. Recently, and for no reason at all, I asked Mint Mobile's legal team if big wireless companies are... For dinner, I picked up a salad from Chick fil A. I just got a Cobb salad because that's really the only salad I like. I've tried the, I think there's one other one, like Southwest one. I'm not really a fan. And usually I get avocado lime ranch. I have a bottle of it in my fridge actually, but I didn't want it this time. So this time I just got regular ranch. I'm about to go ahead and put all this away, eat dinner, and then I'm gonna let my food digest. I'll probably finish up my assignments because I did not at the library because I left my iPad at home and my iPad has a textbook that I need for school, for that specific class, and it's not on my computer. So I'm gonna have to do that real quick. It's two quizzes, and I'll probably knock that out, then get ready to go to the gym, come back, shower, night routine, all that. We're gonna take it little by little. So first, I'm gonna put this up and eat dinner. I just got back from the gym. Ignore how I look. I'm about to do my skincare. I just got out the shower. The gym was horrible. I'm getting so irritated because I don't have like a gym membership. I just use my apartment gym. It's getting annoying because I understand like being a parent. You don't have nobody to watch your kids when you go to the gym. Bring your kids to the gym and just having them run around act a fool and messing with the equipment that other people is trying to use. Like that's that kind of just pissed me off for the night. So I really didn't even get a good workout. I'm about to wash my face. Y'all should know by now. This is the Holy Grail. This will work for me. This will work for me. Um, no time for a new dog. I'm ready to go to bed. So I'm about to go ahead and finish up all my skincare. And tomorrow is the last day of this vlog. It's going to be the last day of my first week of my new job. So I'm going to give y'all like an update tomorrow on how I like it, how it's going, um, stuff like that. So I'm gonna just go ahead and finish up my skincare and I will see you guys in the morning.
morning. I feel like I already checked in this morning, but we're just gonna say good morning again. Um, I'm about to head out the door. It's eight o'clock. I gotta be at work at 8.45. Before I head out, I just wanted to crack open this Alani with y'all because I need it. And I also wanted to read the first page of my devotional. They have pages for morning and night. So I just wanna get that in for the day real quick. Okay, this is literally how long it is. I could read this in just a couple of seconds, so. And I just have on my um, navy blue scrubs today. I only have three pair that still fit me. I have on my work shirt underneath instead of the sweater today. Cheers. That first sip always take me out. It's not nasty or nothing, but that first sip always take me back. Literally, tastes just like an orange soda. If you like orange soda, you will tear this up. I'm about to go ahead and read my devotional real quick, and I'm gonna head out the door, and I will meet y'all in the car. I just wanted to let y'all know what I was doing. Oh, also, lunch is packed. I really feel like, I don't know why this is on here. I really feel like a work girl again, like, a lunch box, a work bag, my steely cup, a little energy drink for the day. I think I like this little life. <laughs> this little life. I'm screaming. Let's read this devotional so I can have it head out the door. It's the day that God has given me. I'm not going to waste this joy deep down inside me. I'm not going to shake. Been stressed for so long. So stuck in my own way. So I enjoy this moment. It's the day that the Lord has It is so bright, but I literally just came back to tell y'all I did get my Chick-fil-A and I got like five minutes to spare. I got a fruit cup and an egg white grill, which I feel like I've had before, but I'm not sure. So we're gonna try it real quick. The angle has me screaming. That's what the egg white grill looks like. You don't know how teachers, they be like. No, it's actually good. So I'm about to eat this real quick. Like I said, I only got like five minutes, but I'm gonna take it in with me if I don't finish. That's one of the perks of having like a sit-down job. I could just eat whenever I want, you know, stuff like that. I don't have to wait till my lunch break or nothing like that, which is lovely. I'm glad I got to eat breakfast because if not, I probably would have been cranky all day. Amen. So I will see y'all after work for real this time. Good morning, y'all. It is the next day. Hold on. I was gonna end this vlog yesterday, but I decided to keep vlogging because yesterday I just completely forgot to vlog. I got off work. I came home, I made something to eat. I went on a walk as my workout because I'm I'm tired of this whole 75 South thing. I like to now. Like I feel like I'm about to give up, but we're gonna try to see it through. And I just and I came back, read my book, well took a shower, read my book, and I knocked out for the night. Yeah, but today I really just have to play catch up. Usually Saturdays are my editing days, but other stuff I need to do first before I even pick up the computer to edit. I have two assignments to do. I have to take two quizzes, so I need to study before I take them because it's one of those things where if I don't study before I take it, I'm going to fail. It's not one of these. It's, like, y'all know it's quizzes you can cheat on. It's quizzes you can easily find your answers on. This class, not it. I always have to study before I take a test in this class. So I have two quizzes in that class. I have to edit this YouTube video. I need to do laundry because it's piled up like crazy in the laundry room. I need to clean my room, clean my bathroom, which I could also save for tomorrow. I think I'm going to film tomorrow anyway. So, um, but I definitely need to do laundry today because I literally have nothing. I know it doesn't sound like much, but this shit, all of it is time consuming. Studying, time consuming editing if you ask me how long it takes me to edit my videos i will probably sit here and tell you maybe like six to eight hours because I, I edit all the way through so i sit down one day and edit all the way through it takes me about six to eight hours editing is not one to two three hours for me not even four or five okay editing takes time that is time consuming so when i'm telling you oh today i'm editing that means don't ask me to do nothing because the answer is no so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and head to the kitchen and make myself a coffee because it is needed this morning. So let's head to the kitchen and make a uh, zero sugar iced coffee with a little bit of regular creamer for my sanity. Yeah.